So what's going on? So today what I want to do is just give you guys a little bit of insight behind some of the hard numbers when it comes to mural projects. And this is a recent project that I did in Columbus, Georgia. It was for Columbus State University. And I'm just going to just talk about some of these numbers as I share a time lapse with you guys of me just painting the mural. But this project was sort of presented to me about a year ago. It was through the Columbus State University Arts Department. So they reached out to me, but one thing that they were trying to do is get more artwork and public art and murals into Columbus. Uh, but, you know, it was very difficult in a town that's small and not used to murals. It's a city owned wall. So they had to go through a ton of logistics and city council meetings and things like that just to get permission to paint on this wall. So one of the things I had to do was actually go out there for a site visit as well as talk to some of the community members about the wall and the design that I plan to sort of create for the space. So it was a lot just to actually get this mural approved. And once it was approved, the total budget that the school was working with, I don't know if they had uh, a, a few partners that helped with the funding, but the total budget was $20,000 that they came to me with. So that's what I had to work with. And for me, you know, that's pretty much probably a third of what I would charge anyone else, but I did not have a mural in this town, let alone Georgia. So I was like, you know, this is a whole new market. So I really wanted to paint here. So I said yes to the project a long time ago. And when it came uh, to actually do the project, that's when, you know, a lot of the costs started to kick in. So what are those costs? So the cost that I had to take care of was paint, supplies, and travel. They took care of lodging, and then I had to take care of anything else, miscellaneous stuff. So they provided, you know, things like a, a van for me to do it, uh, a lift for me to do it, and they had a local artist, Chris, help me out as well. But all I had to take care of was paints and supplies. So the paints that I purchased were through Cobra, the spray paint brand, and that was about $950 for all the paints that I needed from them. And then another $400 through Blix to get Montana Gold. So those are the two brands that I used on this mural right here. And I had to over order mainly because if I had to, if I ran out of spray paint and I had to get more of that color, I would have to drive to Atlanta, which is about an hour and a half away. So I had to over order on the spray paint supplies just to make sure that I did not run out and that is why those are so expensive. And then I had to order or just purchase house paint from Home Depot which turned out to be about $550 uh, when it came to the bucket paint that I used for the background. And on top of that, to coat it, I used Vandal Guard. I didn't coat the entire wall. I coated most of the faces and or the background around the faces just in case anyone were to tag it. They can easily power wash it off. And the Vandal Guard, the five gallon bucket was about $252. Um, so those were the costs when it came to mostly just the supplies that I needed on hand right there. So I ordered that stuff and had it shipped straight to uh, the college for them to store until I get there. The other expenses that I had to pay for was the flight there. So I had to do two different trips. The first trip was the trip to do the site visit. That was about $840 because I had to fly from Denver to Columbus, which, you know, there's a connection and it's a small airport in Columbus. So I had to do, you know, a connection and wait for a little bit. And that was, that's always annoying for me, but you know, it was last minute too. So the prices of the tickets were a lot more expensive. So that was $840 for the first trip. And then the next trip to actually paint the mural, it was about $673. So that was the cost when it came to traveling to uh, Columbus to actually do this mural. And then on top of that, I always kick in about $500 of miscellaneous stuff when it comes to like food, you know, getting other supplies from Home Depot, things like that. So $500 is usually what I sort of uh, just allocate for just mis miscellaneous stuff. So the total of all those expenses was about $4,100. 
and that basically is just just under a fourth of the total budget so I'm walking away with about fifteen thousand eight hundred dollars and a third of that I just set aside for taxes uh, at the end of the year so I did not walk away you know holding a huge bag but it was well worth it you know I did more than just break even it was a great project for me because I got to paint in a city that I never painted before. So I got to, you know, expand and uh, grow my awareness uh, with a whole new market. So anyone looking to do projects, sometimes the income is secondary to what uh, you can benefit from in terms of growing your awareness, meeting new people, gaining new connections, uh, building your portfolio. And really this video, I just wanted to share with you some of the different costs that were associated with me doing this project right here. And like I said at the beginning, when I was started talking about the budget, a wall like this, I would usually charge a lot more, somewhere, I would say even somewhere between 50 to 100, depending on the design, because that really dictates on how long you have to be there, the type of supplies, all these different little factors, because design, basically determines you know the end cost and a lot of other things around um, you know executing that mural so if you have any questions about murals and costs things like that i have other videos that talk about things like that but if you have something specific to this video make sure you throw that question in the comment section because usually i'm good at responding to comments about specific you know things or topics within that video in the comment section so do that and like i said like subscribe hit that bell notification and i will see you all next time peace